Hey everyone, it's EJ from My Design, and today I'm here to tell you about a preset for Cinema 4D that I've been working on and uh, gonna unveil today. It's called Text Edge Effects, and it's gonna be a must-have uh, tool for you if you do a lot of text, uh, 3D text inside of Cinema 4D or uh, logos, uh, 3D logos inside of Cinema 4D. It's gonna save you a ton of time. It's gonna make it give you a ton of really gorgeous results. You're gonna make some really cool uh, things with this, and it's and it's a snap. Uh, it's a quick and easy way to add uh, custom bevels to your 3D text or 3D logo, and really give it some pop. Uh, here's some examples that I made um, to demo it. So some really cool, really cool looking text, and you know this row pre uh, effect that I got as well. And if you if you look on my on my blog, there's all these images there for I mean it's really endless amount of options uh, for you know really cool uh, text looks and logo looks. So let's dive right in, show you how this thing works. Um, first off, uh, when you when you get the product, you're gonna download a, a .lib4d file. You can see it right here. Basically, all you gotta do is just go navigate to your uh, cinema folder, wherever you wherever you have it, in applications, whatever. Uh, go into your library, go into browser, and you just drag the uh, text edge effects.lib4d file in there. Uh, restart your uh, cinema and go look in your content browser, which I already got open over here, and it should be you know, under your preset list here. So. And what you're going to see is you're going to have a spline edge effects and a text edge effects. Uh, the text edge effects works with just uh, the 3D text, and I'll show you that first. Um, the spline edge works with uh, custom splines that you can add, uh, you can extrude and add bevels to. So I'm going to show you the text edge effects real quick. And right away you can see you have all your basic text options that uh, you know, are in your normal mode text objects so you can go and it's already got a bevel applied to it so right away you can you know type in whatever and automatically you can see that the the edges update and go right along the edge of that font you can adjust the height you can adjust the depth the nice thing about this is uh, we have an option where you can have a front and a back bevel if you decide to go with both bevels and you do the depth, the back bevel follows real nicely. And you also have cap settings, which you're familiar with as well, uh, where you can add your fillet caps, adjust that. So nothing new there. Uh, if you go into your bevel options, now you start to get in the meat and potatoes of uh, what, what you can do with this thing. Uh, so you have your whole list of uh, you know, spline objects that come with Cinema 4D. Uh, if you go through some of these, you can get some, uh, you can start to see some really cool bevels uh, going on already. Do a render real quick. So literally with a few clicks in your mouse, you're already getting something that looks pretty, pretty cool so far. Uh, and with each of these uh, uh, native th uh, Cinema 4D spline objects, you have full control over all of the options for each individual uh, spline object. So, you know, you have this flower object, you control the petals, uh, you have the inner radius, outer radius. Uh, another thing is for each, for each object, you can control the overall scale is nice and you also have an option for a Z scale so say you just want to <clears throat> you just want to use uh, let's turn off if you go into visibility options you can see all the uh, visibility options also the subdivision settings so we're gonna turn this back bevel off we're gonna go into our uh, bevel options and we're gonna go to our offset and just push this back and so you uh, using that Z scale, 
comes in really handy when you just want to use one bevel and kind of stretch it out and uh, get some cool effect uh, like that. So I'll render this one out. So like I said, you know, really easy to get really cool results really fast and an endless amount of options. You can spend days and days and days and a, you can use this tool for a year and probably not even get all the even close to scratching the surface of the uh, the types of bevels you can get with this tool. Uh, so uh, there's the uh, there's the flower object. Uh, and you can use you know your normal Cinema 4D objects, and I also threw in uh, a bunch of custom bevels as well. Uh, you've got this frame one that looks like a uh, let's uh, bring down this Z scale, bring this up. Uh, so I mean, this looks like an edge of a uh, a picture frame, basically. So there's the kind of picture frame kind of look and you can see that we have this uh, uh, breaking up of the geometry. We need to add some more detail to it. So whenever you want to do that, just go to your visibility options and you can you can choose between all these different uh, you know uniform natural. Uh, but if you adjust the angle, you can see you're adding more subdivisions. So that's going to smooth out that geometry. I'm going to leave it high for now. Uh, Let's go into the tech uh, bevel options again. Uh, and you also have uh, a rope uh, function, uh, which is really nice in conjunction with, uh, uh, if you really jack up this end scale really high. And let's go back to our visibility options. And uh, whoa, don't wanna go that far. Uh, but you can already start seeing that uh, you're getting a kind of rope uh, effect or like an old school phone cord. Remember those? Uh, and I also made it where uh, if you play around, I mean, this is just a this preset. If the more you play around with it, the like you'll you'll find out some really cool options. So uh, using the flower uh, object, I've found that if you throw like a like a steel looking kind of texture on this, you can get uh, you can get some like a almost like a drill bit kind of look to it. So there you go. You got the, the drill bit effect. Um, let's uh, bring down the rotation. So yeah, if you use the fong angle, you can get some really, the lower the fong angle, the sh sharper the edges you can get when you render it. Um, let's bring this up again. Um, okay, so that was using the end rotation, uh, which is comes in pretty handy. You also have uh, normal rotation. You can actually rotate the entire uh, spline object. So. Uh, using that, um, let me bring this back again. So using that kind of drill bit kind of look, you can actually start to animate that kind of spinning, which is pretty cool. Um, one other thing is, you, you know, if you want to get that drill bit or the rope or uh, whatever, whatever cool kind of thing you come up with, uh, nice thing is you can turn off the text and just have that uh, that bevel showing which uh, is a really cool feature uh, so let's turn everything back on bring that back down and bring this back up again so there's that uh, so there's you know a ton of ton of really cool options to get really cool looks. Uh, Cogwheel, I've I've found some really cool uh, looks as well. Um, you got your offset for front and back independently, so you can have like you can you can layer your 
bevels as well. Uh, you can change the colors by just, uh, you know, simply you, know, you have your bevel color you can change and it. You have different color, you can do different colors for both the back and front if you want. You can change them manually up here as well. Uh, and also the uh, front cap, back cap, and the actual uh, text color. So just change it to gray, change it to whatever you want. Uh, change the back bevel to orange. You got the front to, the front to yellow. Really simple, really easy, um, real intuitive if you're, I mean, it's just working the way you normally do inside of cinema, nothing too crazy. Um, so you also have individual uh, scale spline controls so you can change the uh, scale. If you hold down control, you can add uh, another point to the spline. So you can, so if you want it skinny in the middle and large at the end you can see you have that kind of like uh, tapering effect going on as well okay and we have uh, this growth option as well so you can animate the spline coming drawing on or have it in you know is an isolated letter right there and you can also have multiple instances instances of this uh, preset so if you want to just have uh, say you just want to work with one letter and get a kind of uh, effect where you only have bevel on part of your letter you can do that you just have to make uh, a different text uh, edge effect instance for each one to get that really fine-tuned control for each of your uh, bevels on your letters like that. Let's switch this back. So, and same thing with the scale, you can have the rotation, have different rotations uh, along this line as well. Uh, so, I mean, that's a ton of options right there that'll keep you busy for quite a long time. So, and uh, visibility options, you have your text, Visibility just front or just the back bevel or no bevel at all, which is kind of pointless considering that's the whole point of this thing is to have a bevel. So you, you want one of those on. So, like I said, you can just have the bevel on so you can have a really cool, uh, like I made this uh, rope uh, look. So that's how you go about that. Uh, you have your angle limit on your fong, so you can get really sharp edges, say if you want to use, um, let's use a, a four side, that'll get some, let's uh, reset that, reset that. So you have a sharp edge. And if you bring this out, you can see that it's uh, the shading on it, it's kind of uh, rounding out, it's kind of smooth. So when you're working with, or if you want to have really sharp uh, bevel edges, make sure you bring that uh, pretty far down to get some really nice sharpness on the uh, on the bevel here. So I'll render, render this out real quick and you see the sharpness. So there's the sharp and you can see how it looks like if it's a uh, low rounded, the shading gets kind of all wonky. So you can see it's a little bit smoother there. So something to be aware of. But if you use Cinema 4D a lot, you already know what Fong Angle does. Uh, so so you have the the, the fillet caps uh, for each of the. Uh, for each of the front and back of the text object, uh, I'm going to show you a really nice effect to actually get bevels look flush to the text, like uh, like I did here, where you just have the same material on the uh, bevel and the object itself on the text object itself, so it looks like a just one 
whole object uh, with a really uh, nice bevel on it. So I'll show you how to do that. Let me go back in here, uh, go to visibility, turn our text on. We just need the front bevel on right now. Um, and so usually you'll have to go in and kind of fine tune with the, the bevel offsets to make sure that, and also mess around with the bevel scale a little bit to make sure you, whatever your, whatever um, bevel shape that you have for side right now, that it matches up pretty f uh, flush. And now we can go in and change the, change all of the um, text elements to the same, or the, yeah, to the same material. So we did that. And like I said, make sure this, this works best when you have um, the, the fillet caps on. So that adds that if you turn it off, it doesn't, it doesn't work so well. So you want to have that on. So let's do a quick render here. So that's looking pretty good. I, I need to just bring it just a little bit in a little bit more to get rid of that, that edge. Let me try this with a, show you a different option. Let's go back to the flower uh, shape. I, whoa. Like the fl uh, the flower object gives you some pretty cool results, so let's just go back in here and make sure we adjust the bevel really nice and flush to the actual object. So let's bring the bevel scale down. So as I said before, it, it's it's really helpful to have uh, the fillet cap on because then you can really start to see how. Uh, it's working. So let's bring this in just a little. Like that looks like it should work. So let's just uh, zoom out a bit. Render. So there you go. Nice and flush against there. So it looks like you have just one. Uh, whole object here. Uh, so really cool. So you just got to make sure that you go in and make sure the uh, the bevel that you choose is flush to the object and kind of scale it down to match the edge of your uh, font. So if, as if all of that wasn't enough to keep you busy for a while, we also have, I'm going to delete this, we also have uh, spline edge uh, options as well. So I'm going to drag drop that in there. It's basically the same exact uh, settings uh, as the uh, the text uh, text edge effects, except you, instead of the text, you bring in your spline. And right now that's set to a cog wheel, but uh, if you go into, say, Illustrator, I made a, if you work in local news, you get the cheesy local news uh, channel station logo so I just made a four and added a little uh, embellishments to the uh, four. Uh, you gotta make sure when you save out uh, out of Illustrator that you go and you save it as an Illustrator 8 file. So that's okay. You can go back into Cinema, delete the cog wheel. I'm gonna import that uh, that four that I made. I'm gonna go merge Go find the file. There it is. Hit open. You want to. I need to co connect splines for this case. So go, comes in. I'm just going to zero that out so it's in the center. And I'm going to go and then drag the four logo into the spline set, uh, into the spline, custom spline uh, field. And there you go. Boom. You got your extruded with a cool looking bevel on it. And all you had to do was throw it in there. You can go in and you know change the colors, uh, all that good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna actually clear 
put all this stuff out. So we only have the materials for the caps, uh, spline and bevels. Uh, so like I said, uh, you know, you have your same fillet caps options here. Uh, you can still go in here and let's use a, let's use, Let's use a cog wheel. This time we're gonna do our little trick where we make the bevel flush to the object so it blends. Let's adjust these settings. I'm holding down uh, Alt Option key to get the uh, fine tune controls of just going by point one. Uh, each clip each time I click uh, so that's looking pretty flush I'm gonna then change the the text color to match the uh, spline so we got some crazy orange going on render zoom, oh, zoom out There you go. Already, you got you got that uh, nice bevel going on. Uh, same settings in the text edge effects uh, settings. You can adjust the Z scale, uh, move that back. You can go into visibility, turn on the back, turn off the back bevel. Uh, you got your subdivision, fong, uh, same exact setup. The only thing that's different is you're just using a spline instead of uh, a text spline. So. Uh, so with so all in all it's pretty pretty powerful preset it's going to save you a ton of time uh i'm working with text every day and i basically built this out of necessity to just speed things up uh, and it's helped me out a ton it's going to help you out a ton and it's going to be uh, a staple in your workflow from this point forward i guarantee it so uh go play i mean i've been playing around with this thing and been coming up some, with some really cool looks to add to your logos or your your text and you can make some really cool stuff really super fast really easy so have fun with it and uh thanks for checking it out